Who's ready to talk about some shoulder problems? We're here today with coach, the coach, Henry Hooft. You've been in a couple of fights before, coach, right? Yes, a couple. Okay, what do you do now coaching? I work uh, the whole day, not only holding pads, of course, teaching the guys how to fight, but uh, mostly uh, holding pads and getting damaged by all the fighters. Okay, sounds good. So you've been in a couple fights and you're holding pads all day. How do your shoulders feel? Uh, my shoulders felt good until a couple of years ago I started slowly getting into tr some troubles but like ignoring it but now it comes to a point where I really need treatment so I got you okay. helping me out that's why I'm still around so no but uh, especially my left shoulder is very bad sure sure so when we're looking at fighting or we're looking at holding pads we're looking at a couple of muscles that seemingly have nothing to do with the shoulder but will create a lot of problems with the shoulder when they get tight and overused. Specifically, the first one we're gonna be looking at is a muscle called the subscapularis in here, and then we're gonna be looking at the teres minor and major. We're going to use the so right first and foremost to get into that subscap. So coach, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down on your stomach, and we wanna get the so right into that subscap. You're gonna put some pressure in there and then what I want you to do is move your shoulder around you can slide side to side a little bit more that way and then you can also become a little bit more stable and then put downward pressure into there and we just want to keep on working that tight tissue out we want to keep the pressure in there for about a minute two minutes somewhere around there we want to hunt for these tight corners we want to find out where the muscle tissue is damaged Coach is holding the pads and he's absorbing the punches and the kicks. This muscle in here, the subscap, is responsible for bringing that arm back closer to the midline of the body. So if I'm sitting here eight, 10 hours a day with 30 different fighters and they're kicking and punching me as hard as they can and my arms are constantly absorbing their pressure, we're gonna overwork these small muscles they're gonna send a signal to the brain that the shoulder is not okay. The second area that we're gonna get into, teres minor and major, we're gonna get a little bit more on our side, so I want you to lay a little bit more on your side. Right there, in that area, and the same thing, we wanna lay there, breathe, let that pain melt away, and we always wanna check out the facial expressions. Pain's always going to be expressed in the face first. So when we get in there and... My fingers are like, you see? Yeah, <laughs> yep, fingers start shaking. We're overloading those nerves. We can see that the pressure is definitely eliciting a response. His whole arm is starting to shake because we are creating a threat, but it's a good threat. This is not something that's gonna rip his arm off or destroy something. This is restorative work. So the central nervous system is responding in kind, it's saying, hey, this is kind of hurting a little bit, what are we doing? And the more that Henry is going to do this in these areas, the central nervous system is going to calm down, the muscle is going to release, and he's going to be able to coach for at least 80 more years. Same thing, minute and a half, two minutes. Keep on moving around, same thing. You can do it without a shirt, but we also like wearing a shirt, so that way we can glide. It doesn't always have to be direct pressure we can glide side to side, up and down, and the shirt allows us to do that. Keep on breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Nasal breathing is very important in any type of muscular release. It's gonna calm the central nervous system down, center us, and help those nerves and muscle tissue relax. Typically too, we wanna wait for a response for that hand to start calming down. In this case, we're just doing uh, a little bit on there. And then, oh, <laughs> are, you, are, are, are we sweating? Are you, you starting feel, to get starting I to get feel warm? like only in one hour or two minutes that I'm working out, like really like working out. Sure, sure. Move your arm up and down for me, see if we got a little bit better range of motion. Yeah. Not, yeah. Enough, not as much pain, not as much pinching. No, no if, and I feel it, it, it feels, it's getting really warm, you know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We open the tissue up and we bring blood to the area so the immune system can heal the damaged muscle tissue. What do you got, coach? Five more rounds, 10 more rounds? We go for 10 more rounds. 10 more rounds. We got 10. 